Housing Minister Honorable Philip Tellesford says contractors are on target to complete the cupboards and other minor work on the low-income housing units by June 2023. Prime Minister Honorable Deacon Mitchell, the Housing Minister and other members of Cabinet visited the Corinth units on Thursday to get an update on the progress being made with outfitting the units with sample cupboards and closets. The units were handed over to the previous administration in 2022. However, following the change in government in June, the application process was reopened and extended and remedial work commenced. Prime Minister Mitchell, who is the parliamentary representative for St. David, is confident that government's decision to ensure residents will be comfortable once they occupy the units is the best one. The look of it is modern, it is sleek, it's in keeping with the deco. Um, and we wanted to make sure that we had uh, the cabinetry in before the houses are uh, distributed. So this is just one example of the types of cabinetry, as you've seen the others downstairs. So the aim is to have the samples installed. We can then get all of the contractors to come in, look at the different quality and the standards of both, and then to select the best and have the best uh, installed throughout the units. Housing Minister Philip Tellesford says when the units are completed, government will work with the committee to distribute them to successful applicants. From here, I expect to see them stepping on the gas a bit because we would really want to complete the installations by June. Um, from the look of it, it's not an easy task to accomplish, but um, I believe that we are up to the task and so we'll be doing our best to be able to complete by the end of June so at least we could start the process of uh, distribution of the, of the units. Now. The application process is by and large complete. Um, we just have, you know, just to wait on the committee to actually do the final presentation to, uh, to the ministry and to, and, to, and, to, and to cabinet. And from there we'll be able to basically understand what is in store in terms of um, the positioning from the committee itself. He said of the 647 units at all the locations, a portion will be secured by the Ministry of Social Development and Housing for emergency use. 47 at various locations, including Karikou, St. Patrick, St. Um, St. Mark and so on, would be held for uh, situations that warrant rescue by the government. For example, somebody's house that might have been burnt, or a distressed parent um, with child, of course, um, needing rescue um, from social services point of view. We may need to, to, to attend to them in that way. And so we have held 47 units around the country, including Karakou, for that purpose. With 226, Corinth has the largest number of the modern designed one and two bedroom apartments.